Finally, I replaced my OBI mesh network devices with Ubiquiti Unify access points. So what you are seeing now are all of my Netgear wireless uh, routers, satellites. You may ask, wait, why do you need so many routers just for one house? Let me explain. In fact, that's directly related to, related to the very first reason why I don't like the Orbi uh, mesh network. Uh, the first row, it's the RSR50 uh, model. It's bigger, it's more powerful. And the second row is uh, uh, RSR20, a little bit smaller. And the, the, the first one of each row is a uh, Netgear Codem uh, router. And the other two, Netgear Codem satellites. Keep in mind, in obvious world, you cannot use a satellite at, as a router. You cannot use a router as a satellite. They cannot be uh, interchange. Okay, so <coughs> the very first reason why I need so many routers because I need a VLAN. I need uh, different VLANs uh, to support my normal secured LAN and to support all the IoT devices. And so again, there's a details in the RV world. Uh, if you do the so called or uh, we call it backhaul. So if you if you use Ethernet cable to connect the satellite and the router, uh, that's the best way, the fastest way to connect the, the to establish the network. But in that mode, Orbi doesn't support VLAN. That means everything connected to the network, wi wireless, they have to be in the same LAN. That doesn't work for me. That's why to support multiple VLANs, I have to, okay, these three support my security LAN, these three support my IoT devices. Uh, you may ask, man, wait, why you have this black thing as well? Okay, this one is used to, to support my insecure LAN for some computers uh, because I run out of Orbi routers, so I have to use a normal wireless router. So that's why here you see six black, bo black boxes and one, uh, sorry, six white boxes, one black box and so many power adapters such a cumbersome network device design. Now let me explain the second reason why I don't like the Orbis. One thing is Orbit does have mobile app and it as other wireless routers it also has the internet uh, the i browser based uh, UI so they don't many times they don't reflect the same information uh, for example on mobile app it may tell me okay this uh, satellite is connected connected to my router using ethernet cable but on the web ui it may tell me okay it's connected in a wireless mode something's wrong with my ethernet connection right so that's uh, inconsistency one problem another problem is the web ui is super slow i don't like it right so that's the software problem the, the, another problem is the way obi require you demand you to connect your devices together let me explain you because the way I use my uh, routers and the satellites is basically I use them as AP, right? 
in ideal world, I want them to work together, and but separately, right? So they are equal. Uh, they all act as a independent independent AP. That's ideally I expect it it to work that way. But no, it doesn't, because let me explain you. So this is the router. Uh, this is a satellite, right? So. Uh, in Orbis world, if you use Ethernet connection for them, it's called Ethernet backhaul. That's the fastest way, that's the best way to connect your uh, router and satellites. For the, for the bigger ones, uh, it's easier because as you can see, in the end, it has, in the back, it has four RJ45, right? So you can connect your uh, internet use the uplink cable one cable already then you use another cable to connect your router with your satellite then you are done so basically this satellite has to be connected in the downstream network of the router right so then the system will recognize the connection that's okay for the uh, bigger guys but the real trouble comes when I use the smaller guys. So as you can see here, in the back of the router, it has only two RJ45. That means I have to use one as uplink to connect to internet, right? And then it only leave me one additional RJ45. But I have two satellites. See how I can connect the two satellites as downstream connection to this router. The way to do it, yeah, you have to introduce another device, a switch, right? Let me use this small switch as example. So you have to connect your satellite to this switch. And then you connect your switch to your router. See, this way, the, the satellite is connected in the downstream network of the router. This way, the system will say, okay, now I see uh, you are satellite, you are router, and you guys can work together. It's so cumbersome to work this way, right? It doesn't have to work that way. Why not simply treat them equal? so that they can work independently. Why the satellite has to be in the downstream network of the router, right? I don't like it. That's the second reason. Now let's take a look at the new devices I purchased. One Unify Wi-Fi 6 long range AP and two uh, light AP. So in total, they are even cheaper than the small Orbi uh, RSR20 series I just show you guys. So the expense, the total cost is much less and the function is way much better. And later I will compare the network speed as well and to show you in every aspect, Unify Wi-Fi APs beats the Orbi mesh network devices. So after I installed all the three Ubiquiti Unify APs, I tested uh, some weak spots uh, in my house, uh, tested the Wi-Fi connections, the internet speeds. So one thing I need to mention, my internet speed is, is about uh, 400 uh, megabits download. So sometimes you can see that the cap is 400 something, right? So the, the real network speed may be even faster, but uh, it doesn't really matter to me anymore. I only care about the wireless uh, internet connection speed. 
So I totally tested six different places uh, inside and outside of my houses, my, my house. So four corners and the fr my front yard and my backyard. So normally these six places were the weakest spot in my old Orbi uh, setup. So many times I either had hard time to connect or even it is connected, the the internet speed is was super slow. So this time I compared uh, six of them uh, side by side. Okay, so this is the first result for the first corner of the house, and you can see in the left side is Obi. In fact, Obi wins this time. So the download speed is almost the same, but upload speed is a little bit, a li a li a little bit faster. Muang, the corner two. Okay, so this time I would say half-half. So Ubiquity wins uh, in download and Orbi wins in uh, upload. And then the corner three, Ubiquity wins in both sides so especially the download stream it already uh, exhaust my internet uh, bandwidth and the fourth corner as you can see the similar situation uh, Orbi has better upload speed and ubiquity has much better download speed so so far as you can see the score here uh, Ubiquity wins in download and Orbi wins in upload. Then let's move on to the front yard and backyard. This is for backyard. As you, you can see, now the Ubiquity exceeds so much. So the download speed is so satisfying and the upload speed is also the cap of my internet connection then move on to front yard similar situation but the download speed is weaker but again much much better than the obi and the same similar thing to upload so basically after finish the six testings as you can see the final score you be i would say ubiquity has much better result. Keep in mind, these six spots are the weak spots, right? So I'm not saying for uh, in for day-to-day -day use, the Orbi uh, Wi-Fi connection is horrible. No, it's in fact, it's very good in most cases. But in these six weak spots, now I'm so happy because apparently the Ubiquity Unified APs achieve much better results. Of course, this test is just my own testing. Uh, you may not take it very seriously. For example, I of course the the locations, the position, how I put those devices are different, and uh, they may result in different testing result, right? But I what I can uh, say is. Uh, after several days use uh, the what I feel and uh, the network speed is much better and another advantage of ubiquity is the unified controller the management software I even don't want to compare that part because that's the, that's the part I hate uh, about Orbi software so I like Ubiquity Unified Controller very much. So I don't waste you guys time. I won't spend time uh, on that comparison. Okay, thanks for watching.